Good hey job. everyone, Donna with Photonic Health, and in this episode of Health Made Simple, I have an extra special guest. Not only is she my friend and beautiful and amazing, um, here's some of the reasons why. Uh, <laughs> She has so many credentials behind her, I have no idea where to start. Um, let's start with, she competed in the Pan Am Games in dressage uh, several years ago. She is a four-star Pirelli instructor. She, uh, her and her husband breed top quality and illusions. She is a young, young horse developer and um, has impeccable training methods for these youngsters. Um, she is a four-star Franklin Method train your seat instructor and part of their faculty. And in layman's terms, what that is, is she's a really amazing rider biomechanics coach. <laughs> um, this is Miss Alejandra Gonzalez. Welcome, Ali. Thank you, Donna. How are you? I am good. I'm oh, good. I'm so thank excited you for having to me. have you back. I'm thank so excited you for having to have you back. Me. Thank yeah. you. I love it. Yes. Um, I met a little bit about Ollie, a little bit more about Ollie. Um, from my perspective, is we met Ollie uh, just before COVID hit, like I think a year before COVID hit. Maybe two. And I dragged Brian down to Costa Rica to take a dressage trip a dressage camp riding clinic at her gorgeous farm and um brian and i's background is trail riders so i appreciate the fact that he was up for anything and i really appreciated the fact that ollie welcomed us with warm welcoming open arms saying yes sure you can come learn dressage um and and what we discovered was that uh, Ollie is just such a gifted instructor. No matter what she is teaching, she just absolutely has a beautiful gift for being able to um, teach people, teach adults especially, in a really positive environment. Um, and she really makes you feel like you know you could go to the Olympics next week <laughs> if you if you just apply yourself. So. Um, I asked Ollie on today because she has this vast, vast knowledge of lots of different things and lots of things related to horses. But what but but this is not about horses today. It is, but it isn't. This actually mm -hmm. applies to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and it's one of those things that as we get older, there is this thing called balance. And we have this misperception that our balance gets worse as we age. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's really about because of the aging component as it is of that we do less as we age. Correct. 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 Balance is a skill. We can train our brain to be in balance. And it's um, like you said, it's not only when we ride, it's when we move, when we walk, when we uh, interact with our world, we need balance and we need good balance. So I'm very passionate about balance. You know that I'm very, yes. <laughs> very into balance because of course of the riding, but because it's a skill that everybody can develop. Right. If we train, if we, if we just give or invest a couple of minutes a day, let's say five minutes, 10 minutes a day, one minute a day. Just one minute is better than minute. none. Exactly. Yes. Just uh, understanding that that is going to help us move better, ride better, dance better, do whatever, garden it's, better, exactly, garden better, exactly. walk our dogs better, right? <laughs> exactly. Like everything it's, is going to be better. Exactly. And balance has to do with our nervous system. And this is the key. Like everybody moves. Um, 
according to their own nervous system. And this is quite amazing, right? Because your nervous system is to totally different than mine because you have different experiences. Correct. Correct? We yeah. are. We have um, different ages, different hormones, different diets, different experiences, and uh, different um, um, injuries. Correct. Yes. Yes. Right? Life, so injuries, aka life experiences. <laughs> but injuries, injuries yeah, will, will make your nervous system a little bit different. Correct. Right? If you, Correct. I don't know, if you had a shoulder injury or you have an ankle injury, your body is going to uh, move better and your nervous system is going to adapt to all this. So yeah. in order to have good balance, we need four systems. We need to really have good signals, quality signals from our vision, from our inner ear or vestibular yeah. system, yeah. from our proprioceptive system that is amazing, that that's my favorite system, and yeah. from our respiratory system. So those four systems mm, are uh, our balance system, our balance is, um, let's say, like the brain is uh, the control system right. and your eyes, your ear, your proprioception and your respiratory system are yes. satellites. So okay. those, those satellites send information to your brain and your brain adapts and updates depending on where you are, how you're moving, how fast you're moving, is it up, down, side to side, it, it, how, how much effort you're putting into it, you know, like, so if we have, let's say that we have um, not such a good quality signals from one of those systems, our brain says, hmm, this is not safe. So our brain will actually tell you not to move. Correct. You or know, whenever to, I to move this, or to move less. Yeah. Whenever I hear this, the first thing that I think of is seasickness. Exactly. Exactly. Seasickness. Seasickness. Because it's, it's not because why do some people have it and why do some people not? And I happen to be one that gets it, and so does Brian, but he gets it a different way. If the boat is rocking too much uh, this way for me, I I can't handle it. He can handle that fine. It's when the boat goes <laughs> this way that he totally loses it. Exactly. And so, and so I'm like, oh my god! Like, can we can we strengthen? Like if I, if I, is there something I can do? Like as an example with the eyes, can I strengthen my eyes that maybe, just maybe I won't get seasick? <laughs> yes. And it has to be with the vestibular system, right? Yeah. Actually, the seasickness, uh, it was discovered because there were uh, some... I don't know the word in English for this. The people cannot hear and cannot talk. It's called uh, deaf mute. Deaf mute, exactly. Yes. And they didn't get sick oh. in a boat. Interesting. And that's how everything started to develop. Oh, how fascinating. Yes. How fascinating. Yes. That's yes. Incredible. So that's how everything start to develop and the medicine and everything because somebody saw, oh, look, they didn't get sick. Right. And I know that the seasickness patches actually dilates your eyes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. It dilates your eyes. I did not yes. have a good experience with it. Um, <laughs> but you know me, like my body is so weird. So, <laughs> um, it it uh it threw me right into wearing reading glasses mm -hmm. um and um so anyways yes anyway yes. balance mm -hmm. 
balance. balance. So when we integrate, or how can we uh, train balance? Correct. It's a good idea to understand that we need to challenge those systems. Okay. okay? For yeah. example, for example, uh, standing eyes open for 30 seconds. Right. In a normal stand or at a wide stand and then close your eyes and and feel how the sway is a little bit more uh, obvious right right if we challenge that a little bit more we'll be in a narrow stand so correct yep. fit together yep. open eyes and then close eyes feel how is that working for you right. another challenge will be can be putting one foot in front of the other uh, it's a tandem mm -hmm. sure. or yeah. in one leg right? Right. right eyes open and then eyes closed so we're challenged the vestibular system because we're taking our eyes away uh, so All when right? we take the eyes out of the equation we're actually challenging the vestibular system correct now, is that also training the vestibular system? Yes, yes, correct, correct. Okay. Also, we can okay. train, we can train the vestibular system, for example, moving your head, okay, just um, with uh, looking to one point and moving your head. So I will leave my eyes in one point and I will move my head to the right to the left, up, down, but my eyes are fixed, okay? Right. Okay. We can do the opposite. We can also fix our head and move yep. the eyes, right? Okay. Correct, yes. Or, that, uh -huh. that training, is that strengthening your eyes as well as the vestibular system? Correct. Like, Correct. Okay, so that's, Correct. Like, that's sort of like a two for one. Correct, exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. Right. So okay. it, we can do a lot of things, but okay. we want to be safe. And um, now um, the last research is discovering that is actually more effective to train in this way than to be in unstable services. Ah, OK. We have been. Yeah, we have been years and years and years. Sure. Balancing in different ways. But Correct. that actually, that actually mm, gives, gives you a little bit of a startle, right? You're a little bit tense. Right. 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 We want to develop good movement in relaxation instead of training my brain to be tense. That's so interesting because that has a lot to do with your sympathetic versus parasympathetic. Mode. Correct. So Correct. When you are challenging your balance. Your body is not in parasympathetic mode. <laughs> no, no, exactly. I don't want I don't want you to be scared when you're practicing your balance. Right. And even though people say that they're not scared, and you're they tense. may not consciously be aware of it, their their nervous system says, "Okay, ego, you're saying you're not scared. That's great, mm -hmm. but I'm running the show here." And I'm and the, scared, so yes. I'm, going to, I'm going to, yeah, tense up. Yeah, it's the startle reflex. We cannot control that. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So Correct. Your, your, your brain, when, yeah. and that's another idea. And that's quite interesting. When your brain says, no, this is not safe. Yeah. You're going to feel, you can feel pain. You can feel fatigue you can feel anxious you can f so your brain is telling you don't move don't move okay. in this way this is not safe right right so a lot of uh, lack of co coordination a lot of mm, low back pain typical right very, it's be very it's because maybe we have to check our eyes. Maybe we have to check our ears. Yes. And we sometimes we don't even think about it. We think, oh, I'm going to the massage and I'm going to, mm, I don't the know. The chiropractor. The chiropractor, yep. drink a pill. But it's nothing to do with that. We're just 
not taking care of the problem, actually. Right. We have to check the systems. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's so crazy. I I truly never thought of it that way because you know me, you know, I'm always like you give me stuff and, you know, my other friend that's a physical therapist. So I'm like, you know, on uneven surfaces and things like that. And I've been doing it every day. And I'm like, oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know that I'm making progress here. Exactly. Correct. Correct. And then Correct. we train, we train a couple of Right. Mm, vestibular and you're like mm, this is kind of different yes huh? yeah exactly so um I went through earlier this week some of the exercises that you give for mm -hmm. um training that vestibular you know training all of these systems and mm -hmm. I was um it was a particularly my nervous system had been very challenged that day and so I remember during the course of doing it, I think I yawned about 20 times. I know, I know. And I was, yes, she yes. is releasing. Yes. yes, my my nervous system was going, oh, thank God, thank God. But the really interesting thing about it, and it was really easy, like you said, it was, you know, we just, we literally just did the, you know, stand up and look far away and then close your eyes. Okay, now do it standing together, mm -hmm. look far away and then close your eyes. Mm -hmm. And just even that, like I noticed a big, huge shift when I went back to, you know, re recheck balance. And I was so amazed at that. Um, but what was really interesting was the fact that when I went to eat dinner that night, I'm very, very in tune with my body and especially my pelvis. And if it's off balance or my body's out of balance, because I notice it in my jaw. And what I noticed was I was eating dinner. I was like, oh my God, my bites are like even on both sides. <laughs> I was so excited. Um, but yes, but that, but that's just, you know, that's just a very small increment of it. I mean, this is, this could be life changing for somebody. It is, it is. And it's been for me like amazing. And we even haven't talked about the proprioceptive system. Right. Shall we chat about okay. that? Okay. Yeah. Because that's my baby. That's my, that's my, I, I love it. Okay. Right. So what is proprioception? What is, what is that? That is, mm, that word is so hard for me to say proprioception. <laughs> we do a great job of it though. <laughs> okay. So let's um, think about sensory organs that we have in our skin, in yes. our fascia, that fascia is going to change the world. Yes. Fascia is going to change how medicine uh, is applied. Fascia is going to change the fitness industry, the therapy fi uh, world too, too. Fascia is an amazing, an amazing uh, yeah. subject. Yeah. Our fascia release points for the horses and dogs. Exactly. My yes. results. We have, actually, we have more sensory organs in our fascia than the skin or the muscles. Right. But yeah. So we have sensory organs in the skin, the fascia, the muscles, the bones, especially on the joints. Right. Okay. Yep. So. Let's experiment proprioception, okay? okay? So everybody can just sit in there, just feel how for, let's say, 15 seconds, how do okay. you feel today? Don't judge anything, just feel your body. You don't need to change anything, just notice. Okay, good. All right. So remember how, how your body feels right now. That's our baseline. Yes. And now we're going to tap. This is my left arm. And you can tap your right if you want to, but just, the, the, just one arm. And we're going to actually. Yay. Yay. Say yes to us. <laughs> tap. 
the whole arm, and especially here under the armpit, there is a lot of fascia there. Mm -hmm. Fascia connections, the shoulder, the chest, and the ribs on that side. Mm -hmm. okay, now we're going to squeeze because there is a different uh, sensory organs for different uh, inputs, right? Different yes. uh, stimulus. So, right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, so squeeze. Oh, squeeze that shoulder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do this for a few seconds more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now let's brush. Very light, like a brush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And shake it. So, mm -hmm. we're stimulating lots of different sensory organs. And compare how the side that we tap feels to the other one um my left arm that i tapped just feels way more relaxed mm -hmm. um if and this is maybe a weird word but it feels more expansive to me yes i feel like i have more awareness correct i have mm -hmm. more awareness of mm -hmm. it but in a in a very uh, soft, nurturing way. Nice. I love it. So that's your brain locating that arm better because we give your brain, our brain, more information about our, that arm. And we can test it. I can feel it too. My This shoulder actually feels more dropped, feels more relaxed. And if I lift the left arm, yeah, and I lift the right arm. I feel it completely different. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is <laughs> like the right arm is is much tighter than the left arm for me. Correct. Like this is heavy. Ah. Right. And this one right. is like, ah, oh, yes, we can do that. So right. every time that we activate our proprioceptive system, we're um um we're refreshing our brain. I don't know how to say it. It's like yeah. update. It's an yeah. update to yes. our brain. Yeah, it's like a software update going, exactly. hey. Exactly. Hello. Hey. This is the new version. This is yeah. the new version. Yeah. So um, when we activate our um, sensory organs and we have a better input, we have a better location, but also we have more our, uh, blood flow. We have... Yes more relax uh, relaxation we increase yes. the relaxation we increase the force absorption also correct. okay yes. and yes. we can coordinate movement better correct. so i'm gonna add we need, we we're, need to tap we're also we need to, moving lymph fluid oh correct yeah we correct huge which is important very important so in the morning if you're taking a shower or not, is it doesn't matter. Tap yourself. Tap yourself. Yeah. Stimulate those organs and yes. feel the difference. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's let's tap the other side so we don't we don't we, we don't, don't walk around lopsided. Exactly. We're not like this. Yes, we don't want we don't want to leave everybody just relaxed on one side and not the other. <laughs> So, um, so I love the, this. I love this technique because it's something that you can do anywhere. Like you can do anywhere. 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 And, well, you you have been with me, right? Um, anywhere you see me moving, tapping, yes. uh, standing yes. in one leg. Uh, yes. Just yeah. Being aware, what is going on? What is going on with our? body how can i give my our brain a little bit more information, information. yeah mm -hmm. awesome okay. okay let's squeeze it i like, mm -hmm. I like the squeezing thing mm -hmm. 
And of course, for writing, this is this is amazing. This is a game changer. Um, the more we feel our body, the more awareness we have in our body, the better we're going to be able to be harmonious with our horses. Right. Yeah. yeah. So the better we're going to be able to feel our horse and our horse is going to be able to feel us. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So a brush, brush, okay. brush, brush, brush. And of course, I can't help but put in there that we're also stimulating lots and lots of um, meridians while we're doing. This. Exactly. It's, yeah. Everything is connected, right? Everything. everything. Connected. Yeah. Check it. Check it out. You have to put the... Um, the hokey uh, pokey music. Yes. <laughs> Check it out. The Taylor Swift Okay. Perfect. So I forgot to mention that Ollie used to have her own TV show in Costa Rica. <laughs> she used yes. to teach aerobics. And yes. this is showing up here. So, <laughs> yeah. okay. Now feel both and notice what changed, what happened. Balance. Mm -hmm. Correct. And can you feel also your breathing? I feel, I feel that I can breathe uh deeper also easier for me it's easier yeah, yeah easier for mm -hmm. me it's easier mm -hmm. so you. also the respiratory system is very important the way we breathe yes. let's let's talk a little bit about that okay? okay because that is going to affect our our sleeping is going to affect um every organ in our body will is depending on how we breathe yes oxygen yeah. is an amazing thing we sort of <laughs> we cannot live without it <laughs> we cannot live without it so we should put some attention on how are we breathing during during the day there you go yeah that's a release very yes, good there you go <laughs> there you go you see that's great that's right? great that yes. makes me happy Yes, it's yeah. been a stress. It's been another stressful, incredibly stressful day. So I oh. needed this today. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of um, how I see uh, the development of wellness, and yeah. especially riders or not riders, only playing on the ground. If you, if you are aware of your body on the yeah. ground you're yeah. going to move better for your horse too correct well and they can also sense like if your hip is hurting or you know because like there's some horses like they're somatic horse, right they they, right. They, they they know they go oh oh she's not moving real well today i'm gonna be you know, they're either going to take advantage of you or they're going to babysit you. They're going to be like, oh, I'm going to be really gentle with her or I'm going to like get her yeah. away from me as no, quickly as exactly. possible. Exactly. And you breathe different. Your energy is going to be different. Your um, vibration is going to be different. Yes. Yes. And we are communicating and we are as good as we can communicate. And we communicate with our body, with our with our energy every single time with humans, but with the horses especially. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So Absolutely. it's we if we can integrate all this to our daily life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's perfect. I love it. I love it. Yes. I love it. Mm -hmm. So that is going to actually help us. Yeah. Be healthier. Yeah, absolutely. And help us minimize the aches and pains and things like that. Because mm -hmm. it's just changing our body's proprioception. And when we're breathing better, everything works better. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just a fact of life. And balance mm -hmm. immediately. Just tap your legs, tap your, tap your feet. The yes. other day we tap and massage and the next time we stand up, it was just like my base is totally different. I can I can feel how my base is more secure. 
I was able to completely balance on one leg yeah. and bring my other leg into the air, whereas um, previous to tapping my legs in the bottom of my feet, like I could, I mean, yeah. it, you know, I, I had to be in what I call a kickstand position where mm -hmm. you know, my big toe was helping to balance me. Yes. But, you know, um, so yeah, ab absolutely. I absolutely love this. Me too. <laughs> You are so amazing, and um, you've been so generous with sharing some of your techniques with us that you guys can all use in your daily routine, really. Yes. Um, and like Ollie said, it if you only have one minute a day, if you, I do this when I'm driving in the car, if I am driving down the road, I'm usually tapping something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because it's just like, okay, I got nothing better to do except for drive. And if it's an easy drive, I'm making use of time. Um, yes. But I love the fact that you're able to do this no matter where you are and what's going on. And it's for free. You don't need anything. It's for free. And, mm -hmm. and for those equestrians out there that want to improve their riding, I think this is the, this is the easy, easiest thing to do easiest and cheapest thing to do to instantly improve your writing yes, yes. so um yay i love this <laughs> if people have questions or yes. they would like more information on yes. your amazing instruction how can they get in contact with you they can send me an email to www.ale a l e at aleparellipro.com so okay. it's a L E at A L E Pirelli Pro dot com. Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was great. 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 Always great to see you and um, lots of great information. And please feel free to reach out to her because she is very generous and she is the most. Um, oh gosh, from an, obviously from an education perspective. She's incredible, um, but she truly is a master and she's continually striving to master her skills. And I know that it has completely transformed my writing. Mm -hmm. And um, even if it isn't related to writing, if you have questions about it, please feel free to reach out to her. She will definitely help you out. And I hope you guys get some great stuff from this and give us feedback. Let us know what your experience is. Yes, please. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Thank you for watching this edition of Photonic Health Presents Health Made Simple. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications for all new Photonic Health videos.